because Anthony Kiedis said in that video he wanted to fight Mike Patton. Who wins? Who oh, wins okay. in a fight? Probably Mike Patton. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking, like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood sticks, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke diggity dog. What I got some trivia for you. What you got? Um, let's see. In what year was Ben and Jerry's founded? Hmm. 1958, 1968, 1978, or 1988? I gotta say 68, because they're hippie. Incorrect. Really? 58? Incorrect. Oh, what, what were the other two? Uh, 78 and 88. Wow, 78? Yes, 1978. Wow. They were a little past the hippie movement then. How you know Ben and Jerry were hippies? Because you look at their cartons. They, they even got oh, a flavor uh, called Cherry, Cherry Garcia. Garcia. Yeah. yeah. All right, how about this? In 1952, the United States Air Force created Project Blue Book to study what? I actually know this. Project Blue Book. You know this. Was it UFOs? You were right. Yeah. Let's see. Um, let me give you one more here. Uh... Uh, okay, how about this? How many plates make up the Earth's crust? Is it 13, 14, 15, or 16? Huh, I didn't ever even thought about it. Uh, I'm going to say 15. You were correct. You got a good intuition sometimes when it comes to picking out stuff you don't know if I give you multiple choices. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of times I changed my mind and it was the original. Yeah. You First did. thing that pops in your head is usually right. That's it. That's it. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, another word for... Um, man, this is another word for legend. Uh, icon. Uh, man... Damn. Phenom. Come on, just uh, keep naming words that describe. It's a four-letter word. Goat. Uh, uh, man, I, 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 iconicism. It, 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 I mean, this band is great. It's five uh, letters. Yeah. <laughs> it starts with an E. Uh, epic. You got it, my uh, friend. <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> guys, please subscribe to the channel. Have a good sake. Leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. That comes directly from you. Right down in the comment section. And today. Damn, that was good. Faith no more. Faith no more. Yeah. The trash talkers have been suggesting that we get on some more faith no more. Yeah. Now they say a song that we should check out is called Epic. Yes. Do you have you seen the comments about this? Yeah, yeah. I think every time we do one of his songs, they they mention Epic. I believe. Yeah. I mean, a lot of most of the times when I see comments, a lot of people say this is their breakout song. Mm, like this is really? the, that's what some of the trash talkers have said is this is the one that made faith no more and if i'm not mistaken uh, i might know this then crank it up because there was a I, I always like red hot chili peppers and there was a beef between faith no more and red hot chili peppers we've talked about it on the show before and this might be the song because i remember them having a song where they're it's like kind of funk you know but uh they're kind of rapping also really yeah you think i know it maybe so i don't know I knew it because I watched a, a, a documentary about um, the beef. I mean, I guess it was a documentary. It was like a video somebody made, you know, about the, the beef between Red Hot Chili Peppers and Faith No More. Wow. True. Anthony Kiedis was really mad that they were doing that. <laughs> so you think this has got like a Red Hot Chili Pepper vibe? Uh, yeah, if it's the song I'm thinking about. Smoked up. What up? Let's get to it. Let's do it. Yeah, okay, I think this is good. You know this? Yeah. <laughs> That's very tool cool S. See it, see it. You were today. If you can't, then it doesn't matter anyway. You will never see? understand it because it happens to fast. And it feels so good. It's like walking the glass. It's so good. Cool, so 
bruh. It's all right. It's so groovy. It's out of sight. You can touch it. Smell it. Peace is so sweet. But it makes no difference because it knocks you off your feet. You want it all, but you can't have it. Is <laughs> He was young back then, bro. Yeah, he was. He got the Mr. Bungle yeah, shirt on. Amazing guitar work. What is it? Yes, what is it? Yes, what is it? Yeah. Yes, what is it? You want it all, but you can't have it. This guitar is, but god dang. Oh, you're not about to play the piano. Wow. You know I'm a sucker for the piano. Yeah. Is that Mike Patton? Yeah, oh man, I I can't remember his name right offhand. You talked about the guitarist. He was actually in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. That trash at the beginning. Yeah, let us know who that dude is. Cause yeah, he, and is he the main guitarist of Faith No More throughout their entire discography? Yeah, good question. You know what I was thinking watching that? What? So they had this beef with Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? That's, uh, I mean, I know Faith No More fans are, are crazy about this, and you might be mad at me, but that does sound like a Red Hot Chili Peppers song. No, I agree. Go ahead and finish. Well, you. the question is, who was first? Thank you. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. But if it was Red Hot Chili Peppers doing that style first, is this a song directed to Red Hot Chili oh, Peppers? you want it, but you can't have it. Yeah, bro. you know, he had on the boxing, boxing gloves. Because Anthony Kiedis said in that video he wanted to fight Mike Patton. Who wins? 
Who wins in a fight? Man. Probably Mike Pat. Mike, man. And I like Anthony Kiedis, man. I do, but he's a, he's a small guy. I don't really know how big Mike Patton is, but I, I know he's crazy. Listen, you, you, that's a very valid point because I remember when we were doing, we had a podcast of like the top 10 most disturbing artists and Mike Patton. Yeah, Mike Patton was on there. Yeah, yeah. And, and that shocked us because we're like, this dude's a, just a, and, and we already know he was in our top vocalist competition mm-hmm. and we know this guy's one of the greatest vocalists ever. Yeah. Ever. Absolutely. But, to see when we did that podcast, I, I I think we did a Google search on how long they've been out, and mm-hmm. I want to say it was like eighty six. Oh yeah, they were around before, but That's... I, see in that video they were talking about how they changed their style and started doing more of the funk and like funk metal as far as this song goes, but and that's what they were that's what Chili Peppers were mad about. Is yeah. the, like okay, so now they're just ripping off our style. Well, maybe that was the hot thing to do, but at the end of the yeah. day, the question is, and trash talkers, you guys are gonna have to answer this. But who did it first? Because yeah, the Red exactly. Hot Chili Peppers yeah. weren't out in the eighties. Yeah, I think they were actually. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, they were a funk band in the eighties. Let's see. No. I I hear Red Hot. When was Red Hot Chili Peppers' first album? The initial release date of the Red Hot Chili Peppers was August 10th, 1984. Wow. Yep. Yeah, so they, I mean, they've both been Damn. doing it for a long time, obviously. I but. can see where the beef would start. Yeah. I can kind of yeah. see where it would start a little bit. God. I wonder if, the, see, that's what I'm saying. I wonder if the beef started before this, this came out. And this was directed at them. With the boxing gloves, yeah, and it's like, like, hey, you got the hand with the eye. Yeah, I know y'all watching. Yeah. I know y'all watching. Yeah. Lightning striking. Yep. We out there killing. I'm coming outside with the boxing <laughs> yeah. gloves. Like, man, I, this song. I, I think I do know, or I have heard this song. I think, mm-hmm. but that is a trash talker. Look, we got so many questions. Who yeah. did it first? Yeah. Who did it first? Um, also, was there really a beef? Like, was it really a beef? Like beef I mean, I don't is, think they were shooting at each other in the club or anything. That's what I'm saying. Like, when you hear, like, rest in peace and tours, beef is when, a, like, you can't eat. Beef is when, a, like, you can't sleep. Yeah. That's beef. You know but what I'm I mean? But, I mean, they could have been like, okay, if I see him, we fighting, you know? And that's what he said, yeah. actually. Who said that? Anthony Kiedis. I wonder if Mike Patton ever addressed it. Well, did he ever say, Good did question. he ever address the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Good question, because that video I watched, I didn't see anything from Mike Patton about it. Maybe this was the uh, the response. The response. Yeah, that's what I'm And wondering. it was called Epic. Mm-hmm. Trash Talkers, please let us know. And also, who wins in a, in a fight? Straight out. Mike Patton <laughs> yeah, or Anthony Kiedis? Who and wins? I know Mike Patton fans are, you know, really wild about the dude. We're not picking I'm sides. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah, exactly. I'm yes. a fan of Anthony Kiedis as well, though. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah, Trash Talkers, if you could, please, you know we're in the comment section, so please, if you could answer those questions, we'd greatly appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And also, let us know what's next by Faith No More, because we enjoy this band. Absolutely. 100%. Guys, with that being said, my name is Spiritual Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are Lover and Al Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we covered, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.